Hello and welcome back to Subterracore, Legacy of the Crater. When we last left off, we managed to actually get to the core of Subterra, which was kind of impressive. We managed to uh, stop the planet from spinning so fast that each layer was going to pull itself asunder, which is good. Unfortunately, we um, also let Doskius uh, manage to get both halves of the key to um, open up the pathway into complete and total godhood. But on the bright side, when he opened it up, it was just um, an angel, which I'm going to guess is Angel Kyra, um, which just gave a um, riddle. So, um, yeah. At least the world isn't over yet. Um, now, the game doesn't point you over to it, but, you know, it's one of those nowhere else would, you know, push the plot along. So, you know, by order of elimination, you're supposed to figure out that, oh, you're supposed to free Wind City now. You know, this would have been a good time that, like, once you got back onto the, um you know, the airship that Corgan might be like, dude, uh, I know, you know, I was helping you try to get Doskius, but world's safe at the moment, and I kind of need to help my people. <clears throat> that would have been a, um, a good thing to do, but no, nah, instead it's just, you know, random wandering. We stopped Doskius' plan, Layla. With Gunner's help, we destroyed the Lens platforms. It would seem you are a valuable ally to the other Chosen, though. If they are Doskius' worst foes, you would do well to cultivate their trust. Which is definitely useful. Um, uh, by the way, speaking of Gunner... Doskius created giant lenses and made an artificial conjunction. But with the help of a Chosen Lord named Gunner, we destroyed them. This Chosen Lord is your ally? He was. There's been civil war on the upper shell. Doskius now controls the Chosen. This explains why all their ships have left save one. We must act before they can return. But first, we must find the last of the Holy Guard. I'll find them. It's time we struck back at Doskius. We have reports of one last group in the Northern Forest. The Chosen have locked off the forest gate to protect the power stations. Power oh. stations? Uh-huh. The great wind turbines that power the city. It may be possible to reach the forest by way of the city's reservoir with a suitable craft. Here, take this key to the waterfront docks. Leave it to me. Well, that's definitely useful. What news? Yeah, uh, what do you have to say, Corgan? Any news from the town of Armstrong? I'm afraid no survivors have been found, Corgan. Bastards. Yep. How does Lead have to say? I'm from Ankara. Maya tells me that your enemy, Janam, now lies under our very feet. You can thank my dad for that. <laughs> Anything about the Holy Guard? How the search for the Holy Guard? Small forces are found, but our strength will not be whole until all are gathered. Understandable. Been to the core. I was at the conjunction. At the core. An angel delivered a message from the Creator. As was foretold in Marduk's prophecy. What was this message? When the land shall rise and form the runes, he will grant the power to draw the wisdom, and ye shall be judged. If worthy, ye shall have everlasting communion, the world shall be made safe, and ye shall have truly inherited the kingdom of heaven. If unworthy, ye shall be destroyed in the pits of Janak. Do you know what it means? Well, we have seen the land rise, haven't we? This is true. And also, my, you've got some incredibly good um, memory there. What do you know of the current state of Subterra? Our scholars tell us that the world has become unbalanced. Can yeah, you help me to no set crap. things right? I can't spare any forces. Our people are weak and we need time to regroup. Okay, well. I wonder if going out this way is any faster. Ish. I mean, we'll still have to deal with a bunch of enemies, but hopefully. Mm. 
yeah, I think I'm just going to stop recording right now, and uh, I'll be outside when we come back. One second. And much better. So, we need to head to the reservoir. Now, if I recall right, you access the reservoir through the city itself. Yep. And this should be the reservoir key. Excellent. Well, at least everything's nice and clearly labeled. Oof. This map is kind of funky. Well, that's pretty. Actually, this place is rather, uh... Hmm. Doskius wanted our spring water for his ships. What's on the other side? The Great Northern Forest, but you would need some sort of boat to get there. Okay. The city's reservoir. I can see a forest on the other side of the lake. Hmm. Okay, so... Apparently we need a boat, and apparently the boat is something we went to ages upon ages upon ages ago that Maya said, hey, this thing would be like a boat. So we have to go back to all the way to Shell 7 and revisit... I wonder if I can skip the Dark Lake. Yes, I can. Excellent. Remember how Maya said, hey, this would make an excellent boat. Halgak bones. I wonder if this would float. Boring. Looks almost like a boat. Well, why don't we use this grappling hook? <laughs> it's been pulled up to Lobo's ship. That um found one large Harga Helgak shell. That, um, makes sense. I, I, I was kind of expecting, um, Maya to just kind of throw the, um, grappling hook, but yeah, like I remember, the thing was, it looked more like an anchor than anything else. So, back to Shell 3. Back to Wind City. Back to the Reservoir. Back to the future. No. No time travel in this JRPG. Surprising. But. We're gonna need a boat. We're probably gonna need a bigger boat. Who knows what kind of sharks are down there. We can use this to cross the lake. Can we? Or are you just going to make me do another fetch quest to, you know, find ores? No, no, the Helgax shell just moves on its own, apparently. You know. Well, that's not a good sign. Guess the only way out is through.
Which, if that's the case, why don't we just fly, you know? Big boat we got. It's locked. Uh, Corgan, you're a member of the Holy Guard. Wouldn't you be able to help? No? Of course not. Well, on the bright side, as much as, you know, generic forests are kind of boring, it's nice to be out of, you know, a place that is literally called the Mold Forest. <laughs> Let's see how well everyone does here. Eh, well enough, well enough. Yep. Six hundred experience points. Actually, I think that was six hundred sixty-six. <laughs> they were demon wolves. But, to go further into the woods. And we got some chosen soldiers just hanging around. I guess that makes sense. They're occupying the area. Let's do some uh, full strength attacks. That would be um, more impressive if you didn't completely and totally whiff. So, as you can see, Lead is definitely a, more of a magic user like um, Grub is. Because, yeah, her physical prowess is not that great. Probably the reason why she's uh, so fast is so both of them can uh, use cards that much better. Well, at least you're taken out. And I can take that one out on her own lonesome. And over uh, 1,500 XP's there. Nice. Huh. Looks like I'm circumventing something. Wonder if there's any goodies around here. Because, I mean, if we're in a dungeon, even an outdoor dungeon, there better be goodies. Ah, you brought your robot friend. And your other friend. Let's have you both take out that one. Nice. You, hopefully, will take out that one, Maya. Good, good, and good. Missing. I like the sound of that. At least when the enemies miss. I don't like it when my characters miss. That's annoying. Yeah, these mechs only have, uh, like... 175 or 188 hit points, so... Yeah, essentially, Maya and, uh... You know, Corgan can take out all of these people on their own. Ah, well, it's not treasure, but... It's definitely a place we're supposed to go. Let's see what that opens up. Ooh! Opens up the first door. So we are near a treasure box. So when we come back, loot! Have a good one.